Okay folks, I'm going to cook up one of those yabbies, I'm feeling a bit hungry. I'm using an alcohol stove here at the moment, it's part of the kit I keep in my back of my troopy all the time. Yep, that's a light. Alrighty, just centre it a bit. Stick a pot of billy of water on it. And I'll just throw a lid on it, just so it boils a little bit faster. Okay. The idea is, get the water up to a boil, and drop him in. Wait till he changes colours. You know he's cooked. Shell him and eat him. It tastes much better with uh, butter and garlic and salt and pepper, but I'm doing this the old fashioned way. So, uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, back in a sec, folks. Alright, just checking the water, folks. Yep, starting to get bubbles falling on there. And it's just at the point where the heat of the water is just bearable. Put the lid back on. Uh, yeah, while I'm here, I'll cover this too. Uh, that uh, little bag here, that's my fire kit I carry in the vehicle, in the troopy. It's on a sling, or you can hook it up to a belt, or on your backpack, something like that. I'll probably go through that later, but anyway, that's uh, fire steel I carry in there. And the rest of it's just a uh, normal bush kit I carry in the troopy, and if I'm away from the vehicle, I carry with me, put it on me, water bottle steel canteen cup in there to boil water good old k-bar set of uh, small binoculars and a uh, another homemade knife up there with a homemade scabbard so that's it there all right back soon okay folks just a quick one just checking through these yabbies and this one's a female you can see the eggs out there under a tail so I'm going to release her back into the dam and it keeps your breeding stock up so uh, you're catching these things there's one going off across the ground I'll get him they do migrate between dams but uh, where is it yeah that's eggs so I release her back in the dam that keeps the breeding stock up okay folks this water's up to a boil got this big fella here it's not female you grab and grab them behind the head so they can't flip those nippers around to grab you on the fingers. They're quite sharp. And uh, one bit me before he didn't draw blood. If they draw blood, you've got soft skin. It's a source of infection, considering what's <laughs> all the ebby-goobies in these dams. All right. In you go, little fella. Back in a Okay. I just had to refuel the alcohol stove. Bring the water up to the boil again. As you can see, he's changing colour as he's cooking, going to a nice bright orange or red. So uh, bring the water up to the boil again and uh, just leave it for a few, bit longer and he should be done. Some of you may be asking why am I using an alcohol stove? Well, the bush gear in the back, I look at other alternatives. If you look at the uh, leaf litter around here, light an open fire okay yep we've had some showers and stuff this stuff's still pretty dry and I didn't want to light a fire even a small one There's a bit of a breeze blowing at the moment so you get an ember or a spark into this stuff and off she goes and I don't feel like stomping out bushfires today it would get away uh, pretty quick in this stuff so uh, that's one reason why I carry alternative heating methods in my vehicle uh, for such situations like this where there is a, a fire danger and uh, it's probably plan A, uh, it's not plan A, plan A is an open fire, plan Z I guess. But certainly for applications like this you don't need it to light a big fire big enough to melt the polar caps on Mars 
You only need a small fire, so only build a fire as big as you need it, and that's all I need for this. Okay, back soon. Okay, folks. Well, this little guy's done. You see the shell's changed colour to a deep orange or a red, and he's floating on top of the boiling water. So I'll fish him out with it. Just fish him out. Had to swap hands here. Just a couple of twigs I'm using as tongs. Put him down on the lid there, let him curl off. And then I'll give him a taste test. Alrighty, back soon. Okay, he's cooled off a bit. I've just separated the the head from the rest of the uh, the body, and that's where the meat is. And that section there, still got a shallot as you can see in comparison the head is quite quite big to the um, the body so if I look down in there, you know he's well cooked because the meat's separated from the um, the shell as you can see there, There's a little bit of meat in these nippers if you want to get into those but um, as you can see there's more head than tail so um, to get a good meal out of these, you, if you've got to cook up quite a few of them. So anyway, I'll shell this one and see what he tastes like. Well, I've just shelled him. And that's the, the meat out of the tail. And that's the, uh, the tail bit. So, uh, heads up. Ah, nice. Nice and sweet. Beautiful. Oh yes, that's good. Mmm. Could have done with a bit of salt and pepper. I've got some in the back of the truck here somewhere, but hey. Feeling a bit hungry. Good snack. Good protein too. So there you go, folks. There's something else to uh, supplement your off-grid food supplies, as long as you look after the stocks. Um, I've got to head off up to the uh, the dam near the house and release. I found a couple more juvenile ones in this pot, and that one female one with the eggs. Uh, so uh, there it is. Uh, some of these dams are, are stocked up with uh, yellow belly, not yellow tail, and silver perch. Uh, so people can uh, catch them and that sort of thing. So, uh, as I said, that can supplement your off-grid food supply. Certain times of year, summer, spring and summer, for these guys. And, uh, probably getting a little bit off track on the homesteading series, but uh, these are good bush tucker too, so uh, catch them with a piece of string. Make up your own stick uh, pot. Unlike the Aboriginals used to. So, uh, we'll go up to the other dam, do some releases, check that other pot. I think they're mostly juvenile ones in that one up there. If they are, I'll let them go. I'll take some of these big fellas home to Mrs. Dragon. She hasn't had any for years, being a farm girl. And uh, we'll cook them up at home too. Alright, see you soon. Okay, folks, just up at the uh, Dam near the house. Got some yabbies in this pot too, so uh, some of them aren't looking too healthy actually. So uh, they're mostly small ones. There's a big one there, but uh, I'll let these ones go. The juveniles keep the stock up in this dam, and I'll sort through the other ones and throw the juvenile and the uh, the mummy one back. So uh, I've got enough there.
to take home with me. It's one thing you don't need to be greedy. So, look at this one crawling up here, eh? Friendly little fella, aren't you? Alright folks, I'll turn these back, I'll return these back to the dam before the heat gets to them. And uh, see you later on the next topic.